We begin with a developing story in Whitfield County. A father was captured there. He's wanted in Tennessee on first degree murder charges and he's accused of killing his infant son. Uh, the three month old died two years ago in Marion County where his family lived. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin tells us why after all these years, police are finally charging the father with his son's death. Jerry. Well, I just walked out the Woodfield County Jail a short time ago. Christopher Russell was supposed to have his first appearance today before a judge, but that's been postponed until tomorrow. He wanted more time to discuss the case with his lawyer. Meanwhile, he'll soon be facing charges of aggravated child abuse and first degree murder once he's transferred back to Marion County. Three month old Colin Russell was killed more than two years ago. Deputies found him unresponsive at this home back in June of 2012. He was living at the home with both parents when the incident happened. Colin later died at the hospital and neighbors can still recall the tragedy. It was very sad and very emotional and this whole community was very outraged. A grand jury indicted Colin's father, 25-year-old Christopher Russell, on Monday. He was picked up last night by deputies at a home in Woodfield County. An autopsy found that Russell's son died from blunt force trauma. Marion County Sheriff Bo Burnett couldn't elaborate on Collins' injuries, but the sheriff says he's relieved. I think you need to be off the street. It's terrible, you know, this three-month-old baby. Sheriff Burnett said it took two years to bring these charges because they were waiting for the medical reports, autopsy, and they had to do tons of interviews. I hope this prevents anything like this happening in the future to any other child. Russell's former neighbors say they're hoping that a trial will bring out the truth. When the truth is going to come out, that's what we were all looking for is the truth. And Christopher Russell remains in jail in Whitfield County. No one else has been charged in this case. In Dalton, Jerry Askin, News Channel 9. Sheriff Bo Burnett says if Russell is convicted in his son's death, he could face up to life in prison without parole. You can depend on us to let you know when he's extradited back to Marion County.